<clears throat> all right guys um gonna give this another shot other video did not turn out as well as i wanted after spending 20 minutes on it uh which was very disheartening so uh, i'm gonna give this a another attempt at videoing so as far as a pelican loadout versus a bag loadout um we're talking about numerous differences here first off um you're talking about the minimalist version versus um you know having this bulkier case here which takes up quite a bit of room and that is not very easy to smash down and uh you know you get two or three of these small 15 10 pelican cases and a large pelican rifle case then you are already talking um a lot of bulk and a lot of weight you know in a vehicle so you're going to be taking up a lot of room which case if you need a lot of stuff you better make sure you have it in the cases uh you know this bag here this is set up for a long-term bug out bag and it has a ton of stuff it's extremely heavy not not something you're gonna walk very far with it's more to go set up a base camp and have everything on your back uh, and then from there you can obviously uh, you know, wear the bag or a smaller bag inside of there, but um, like a day pack, you know, so and in that, you know, you got your uh, food, water, shelter, fire and water, uh, making stuff, you've got escape and evasion kit, you know, IFAC kit, hats, and so you got clothing, you're going to have ammo, knives, and you're going to have everything in there, stuff to fish with, um, and this kit here, this is going to be, you could is you know also i'm going to show a loadout for like a, a bug out scenario or like a doomsday scenario with this but this here it's just kind of an overall tactical loadout right now um tactical go-to stuff you know you could also use this for the range you could use this for a lot of things um you got your uh mp5 mags here tlr2 light and laser it's got the green laser from streamlight uh, very good quality stuff for the money. It's around 300 bucks. So uh, PTR MP5 in here. You can do a review on that later if you like. Really solid weapons. Um, Glock 19. Uh, Ear Pro stuff. Magpul gloves and a hat. Uh, I did forget to put my knife in there, but actually have it right here. Kind of the all day, every day carry knife. Cold Steel Recon Tonto. Um, that knife goes with me everywhere. So this here, as far as having the lid customized, you can put in there, again, you know, either a, some type of snack, hydration, medical stuff, extra ammo, hat, gloves, um, anything. You can customize and you can fix these uh, modular packs in here yourself or you can buy inserts for these. Um, just depends if you want to spend the money. So, you know, so again, the differences between these bags is, you know, as far as protection, this is the better. If you have NBGs, cameras, lights, lasers, optics, stuff that doesn't want to get smashed, uh, maybe animals messed with, if you got food and water in there, um, a bag like this. It's not going to, it might say waterproof on there or whatever, but you're going to have to have uh, water liners. You're going to have to have this thing in your tent, in your shelter, left in a vehicle. It's always going to be susceptible to being damaged as far as stuff leaking in. So um, you got to be careful. You know, it's going to really depend again on the main key here. A lot of guys get really confused on is, you know, the question you got to first ask is what exactly, you know, what are you doing? You know, what is the mission? If it's just going to the range, you're not going to have to have that much stuff. If you're doing some kind of three gun or competition stuff, you're going to have probably a longer rifle case, maybe a setup like this, or maybe you'll have this and then a, a bag, you know, or a small range bag. The thing is, is you're always better off with the minimalist routes, but uh, if you're going to be in a long-term engagement fighting, or you're going to be in a long-term survival scenario, then you want to make sure that you are packing the right way. If you're going to be, uh, you know, going in and uh, arresting somebody in a high risk scenario or, or something like that in and out type thing um, then 
you're not going to need hundreds of thousands of rounds of ammo. You know, normally the three mags, you know, so 90 rounds of ammo is going to suffice for most scenarios. You know, if you're going, if you're law enforcement like myself, used to, I used to be, um, that you may be going dealing with the active shooter, high risk raids, um, doing interdiction, felony traffic stops, doing whatever, uh, you know, room clearing. So, uh, and you know, as far as your weapons, uh, configurations and that, you know, uh, you can sometimes even get a long gun in the backpack. It'll be sticking out the top, obviously. With this 1510 Pelican case, it's going to be a little harder to get a, a long gun in there. You can get a sub gun in there all day. Um, maybe a really small M4, you know, com lock, uh, compressed down or whatever, you know, uh, collapse down and then uh, take your suppressor off. So you might just make it in here. But it's really going to depend on personal preference guys at the end of the day and the thing is is again as far as the type of organization the bags are going to also come with this pockets and zippers um, loaded down on here and which i also have other ones i have purchased and put in here full of gear you know it's got everything like i said from shelter to cooking utensils uh, light sticks the whole nine yards um, this here you're gonna to have to organize this yourself and get creative and again resist the urge to buy this container and then just fill this up um it's, it's not, no it's not your purse i mean you don't fill it full of snack rags and candy bars and the whole deal um uh, it is made for you know being highly organized knowing where your stuff is and being able to get straight to it so um, that's the whole idea here and it's not to buy something to just fill full of gear. So again, you might need different setups for different missions you're doing and then don't take items from the one and put it into the other or borrow them because the minute you do that, you, you basically have learned in the past, you've lost all organization that you had uh, obtained from using these. So whatever goes in that mission setup kit, leave it in there. Because you're, the minute you start borrowing, if, unless you replace it immediately, even then, I highly recommend against it. Because before, when I borrowed this out of that bag or vice versa, I end up forgetting to put it back. And then I go to get it next time, and then I'm screwed. So if you guys have any questions, comments on this stuff, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. On um, the comment section, you're getting out of control. So i uh, love to hear all the you know positive input on stuff people have to say, their recommendations, tips. I love learning from other people as well. So I think that um, at the end of the day, we're all here to, you know, educate and help each other in this time we're living in. I mean, things are obviously growing very unstable and whether it's globally or just, you know, with the looting, the unrest, the crime, everything people are uh, sick of and they're realizing that for whatever th reason, um, you know, our country is just letting things um, go to hell in a handbasket. You know, why that is, I have my own theories, but it's something that uh, is obviously happening. So, thanks for watching, guys.